Are you my new mommy and daddy? Sure, we all know about Damien and the fact that he's the son of Lucifer that's meant to bring about the end times. He's evil as f And yet, I'd still say that he's got nothing on Mikey. This kid will no sooner push a boombox into a hot tub as look at ya. And he's got a pretty interesting idea of what art is. Mikey killed more people in his first outing than Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Pinhead, or Leatherface. So join us today as we get into all of the homicidal tendencies of this nine-year-old boy as we talk about how awfully good is Mikey. gonna do something to my family. Kill them. There are bad movies, and then there are movies that are so absurd that you wonder how they even got made. Well, Mikey is certainly more of the latter, as I never expected to see a film that had a nine-year-old killer. Sure, Chucky is one thing, but that's even more fantastical, with a serial killer taking over the body of a doll. Mikey is just straight up evil, without much of any explanation. In fact, we don't even get to see the beginning of his murder journey. He's already deep into it when the movie starts. In fact, just two minutes in and he's totally ready to murder his foster sister. And he does. Plus the mom and dad too. But I'm not gonna say that they don't deserve it at least a little. I mean, at least the mom. To be fair, they did have a carpeted bathroom. So maybe Mikey was just getting them back for all of the disgusting mold that was surely present. And why on earth is Mikey not considered a suspect in these murders? The fact that he's hiding out in the closet doesn't magically mean he's incapable of murder. Yet this detective is just like, well, no way he can do it. Uh -huh -huh. Oh God, they didn't take the poor girl out of the pool. What are they waiting for? For her to sink? We then are introduced to the most brilliant character of the entire film. The sister of the deceased. See, they're trying to pawn Mikey onto her and she's smart enough to get the f*** out of Dodge. You know that your sister would have wanted you. I'm not taking it. Not a chance. And that's the last we ever see her again. Like I said, smartest character in the entire film. Mikey then gets pawned off onto Rachel and Neil. As much as they want to be parents, they make some pretty questionable decisions. Can I go ride my bike? Absolutely. Come home whenever you want to. Somehow they don't realize what a psychopath little Mikey is until it's way too late. But his teacher is onto him almost immediately. And I'm sure that you can recognize Ashley Lawrence as she went from being tormented by Pinhead to being tormented by a child. Poor girl just cannot catch a break. Here she seems to be just about the only person with half a brain and is on to Mikey. Then there's this mother f Everyone knows him as the little prick that backtalks Dr. Grant and then gets put in his place. Here he's Mikey's neighbor and best friend. But his most important role is being the brother of Jesse. See, Mikey loses his goddamn mind for Jesse. And I can't really blame him because she is an absolute dime piece but I'm not entirely sure what his plan here is, since he hasn't even reached puberty. Regardless, he's clearly obsessed. At one point, he literally just sneaks up to her room just to stare at her and hide under her bed. I'm not taking off my shirt. Look, what's the big deal? Take your shirt off, get some sun. Okay, so clearly Mikey isn't always in the wrong. Eventually, Mikey does enough crazy shit and absolutely snaps, killing Jesse's boyfriend in a hot tub, as well as her cat. Everything ramps up from here, and Mikey essentially just decides that he needs to murder everyone that he can. His mom, oh yeah, we haven't even said the fact that this lady is actually Mimi Craven, Wes Craven's ex-wife, and she is so awesome in this. But she probably should have been a little quicker on the draw when it comes to stopping Mikey because coming across him watching old murder tapes feels a little late. When Mikey finally attacks her, it's kind of hilarious to see the aftermath. So much had to go right for this to happen. Mikey would have had to make sure to turn their bodies around, midair, 
land on top of her, and stab, all while not accidentally hurting himself with the shard of glass. Oh boy. Mikey then proceeds to murdelate the entire family, Ashley Lawrence included. He even manages to fake his own death, rebrand himself as Josh, and get adopted by yet another family. This kid has got some serious skills. But now that we've gone through the film, let's see what kind of awfully good drinking games we can make out of Mikey. First up, we've got Unbelievable Skills. Take a drink every time Mikey does something that no nine-year-old should be able to do. Whether it's stopping his own pulse with a ball, or having enough man strength to beat his dad to death with a bat. Say cheese. Take a drink whenever Mikey creepily smiles like a weirdo. I've never been so off-put. The Red Flag Take a drink every time Mikey shows a red flag that shows he's an absolute psychopath. Get ready, because this one can get out of control. Mikey really isn't trying to hide it. Now that we're properly sloshed, it's time to get into some Mikey trivia. Mikey is actually a video nasty. The film was banned in the UK after the James Bulger murder which is said to have been inspired by Child's Play 3. Mikey himself, Brian Bonzal, is currently a member of the band Sunset Silhouette. Three different Nightmare on Elm Street actors appear, Mimi Craven, Lyman Ward, and Whitby Hertford. Mikey's favorite film is A Nightmare on Elm Street, yet another Craven reference, has been featured on Riff Tracks. Hilariously enough, Wikipedia actually lists Joe Blow as a site that has been positive towards the film, so we're clearly doing something right. Not many other bits of trivia for this one, but I guess that's how it goes with these little forgotten gems. But if we had to rate this one, we'd go on a scale from Victor Salva to Roger Corman, and we'd give this one a 9 out of 10. Dead people aren't the ones to be scared of. Living people are. Mikey is a film that needs to be seen to be believed. It gets so ridiculous, yet manages to be as grounded as a killer child movie can be. It's a perfect movie to watch with friends on a Saturday night and just marvel at all of the insanity. Just remember, if you ever meet a kid like Mikey, run. But would you teach me one more thing? What? How to die. <gasps> It's awfully good.